Let's have a look at the following absolute value equalities and inequalities. In the first case, if the absolute value of x is equal to 1, what values can x take? Now, if we interpret the absolute value as the distance to 0, then the question is which values along the number line have a distance of 1 to 0? And of course, that's 1, but also negative 1. So the answer is x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 1. Let's have a look at the next example. If the absolute value of x is greater than 1, what values can x take? Now, on the number line, once again, this means we're looking for values that have a distance of greater than 1 from 0. And of course, that means we're looking at values to the right of 1, and we're also looking at values to the left of negative 1. And I will draw it like this with a circle. That means that we are actually excluding negative 1 and 1. So the solution is that x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 1. Now this is very easy if we just have the absolute value of x, but quite often what is in the absolute value is a bit more complex, so we need a better way of dealing with this. Now if you look at the definition of the absolute value, that is x if x was greater than or equal to 0, or negative x if x is negative. The absolute value makes any negative number positive, and if the number is positive or 0, then it'll just stay the same as it is. So if we're looking at this definition, and we have an inequality like this, the absolute value of x is greater than 1, then we can write this as x is greater than 1, or negative x is greater than 1 keeping in mind that the absolute value of x is either x or negative x. So, if we look at this again, x is greater than 0, or, um, solving this for x, we get x is less than negative 1. And here, keeping in mind that we um, are multiplying an inequality by a negative number, so we have to change from greater than to less than and of course it's the same solution as we had um, using the graphical method. Now let's have a look at the next example. If the absolute value of x is less than 2, what values can x take? And we'll do it the graphical way first. So which values have a distance of less than 2 from 0? And of course if this is 2 and this is negative 2, we're looking at values in between negative 2 and 2, but we're excluding negative 2 and 2. So this means that we have minus 2 is less than x is less than 2. There are other notations. We could write this as x is an element of the interval from negative 2 to 2, excluding negative 2 and 2. Once again, we need a method that works for a more complex case than what we have here. So let's do the same as we did above. If the absolute value is less than 2, then this means that x is less than 2. We can also write negative x is less than 2, but in this case I will write an and in between. So this is something to note. If we have less than, then I'm going to write and. If we have greater than, I'm going to write or. And of course this is only the case if you have the absolute value on the left hand side and you have uh, just a number on the right hand side. Otherwise it might be a bit more complex. We get that x is less than 2 and at the same time x is greater than negative 2. And of course this means that negative 2 is less than x and that's less than 2. Now another case is if we have equality as well. So instead of drawing open circles, we can now draw filled in circles and that means that negative 2 and 2 are also solutions and we then get to negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2.